this is going to be the solution of 4.35, which says, Basketball player Daryl Griffith is on record as attaining a standing vertical jump of 1.2 meters. Um, Griffith weighed 890 newtons. A, what was his speed as he left the floor? And then we'll get into B and C later. So, first off, we want to find his speed as he left the floor, and we're given his weight and the maximum height. So we're going to use the equation that Vf, as in the final velocity, I don't know if you can see that too well, but this is the final velocity um, squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus 2 times the acceleration times the distance and so we're gonna we're gonna just plug in what we have so we know that his initial velocity was 0 because he started from rest and or rather we're trying to find his V initial, my, that's my mistake. So his V final is zero because at the time he is at the max height, he, he's not going to be moving. So that is equal to V initial squared plus two times the acceleration, which would have been from gravity times the distance of 1.4 meters, I believe it's, one 1.2, 1.2, all right, and then we're just going to solve for V, so we subtract this part over, negative 2 times negative 9.8 times 1.2, And since we have two negatives here, these are going to cancel out. We're going to take the square root of this, which will give us our initial velocity. Plug it into a calculator, and that's 4.85 meters per second. All right, so part B says, if the time of the part of the jump before his feet left the floor was 0.3 seconds, what was his average acceleration while he pushed against the floor? And for that, we're just going to say, take the equation, that the velocity equals the acceleration times time. The average, yeah. So we know that his velocity at the end of the jump was 4.85 which we just got from this and that's going to equal acceleration times the 0.3 seconds that it gave us we solve for a and find that it is approximately 16.2 meters per second squared Part C. Draw his free body diagram. In terms of the forces on the diagram, what was the net force on him? Use Newton's laws and the results of part B to calculate the average force he applied to the ground. Okay. So, the free body diagram, we're just going to assume that he has a point mass. So we're going to assume this is Daryl Griffith, although he's probably a bit bigger than that. Um, so we're going to have the force of gravity times his mass, so we're going to call that W, and then
that's kind of it. Um, during during his jump, he does have his acceleration and the normal force on the ground. So this would be for the just the time he's in the air. And while he's on the floor pushing, we're going to have this his weight pushing up would be the normal force and also is the force of his his jump just put J alright so it says calculate the average force he applied to the ground which is going to be his weight plus the force of his jump alright so Since we already have his acceleration here, we would say using f equals m a that his average acceleration, well first his mass was 890 newtons, which would be his, well, let's see. So first we would do his weight, right? Plus the force of his jump, which would be 890 times Plug that into the calculator. That was not his mass. He does not weigh eight hundred, or he is not eight hundred and ninety kilograms. So, um, we divide to get his mass, we just do m equals 890 divided by the acceleration from gravity, which comes out to be 90.7 kilograms, and then we can see that. And here, 90.7. And so that is going to equal 2,359. Point three newtons, which would be the average force that he exerted on the ground during his acceleration.